Welcome back everyone. What a great morning. Check out the sunrise behind me here. Bloody awesome. Well, I've had a couple of days off fishing uh, since I was trolling up at back of Parry's and I've actually come back here today again. Today, the Pertec Challenge is on. I decided to join that. It's for a bloody great cause. Um, it's actually through the Peter Duncan um, Neuro science and also with prostate cancer um prostate cancer <laughs> it's the biggest killer out there i don't know if anyone's dealt with um people who's had prostate cancer or any type of cancer it's a bloody hard thing um i touched on it a little bit before uh yeah my wife's been um <clears throat> had a hard eight months um, yeah she had bowel cancer uh, things what you know um, go through your head and just it's it's unbelievable guys um, it's yeah it's it's really hard um, and it just like a, a click of a finger uh, from being absolutely healthy to you know being pretty sick so it was uh, really hard and um, you know you see other people go through it as well um, it's a mental game as well um, let alone you know watching someone who you can't help um, you're actually you're restricted and you feel bloody hopeless bloody strong woman and you know we're so fortunate um, only got word back about eight days ago um, <clears throat> Yeah, so fortunate that it's all clear. <laughs> and that's probably one of the biggest, uh, <laughs> the biggest moments of my life, I suppose. It's uh, pretty bloody special, especially being your partner and everything. But in saying all that, guys, I know how tough we are. I'm the same. Um, go and get checked out. 50 or, you know, uh, if you feel something different, it's not right. Go and get checked out, guys. Like, don't be so tough. We all hate hospitals. We all act like, you know, we're bloody tough, but at the end of the day, you know, we all deserve the best chance to, to live, to survive, to be able to beat this situation of if you do have cancer. Okay, I'll stop talking about that, but Please, get yourself checked out. Don't be tough, especially the blokes. It's just not worth even mucking around with. The sooner the better. If they get it in time, it works out well. Okay. <coughs> Sorry about the rave. Guess what? <laughs> I have finally got my new reels. Now, I'm a bit of a not sponsored by them or anything that's for sure i'm a daiwa fan i've got the tutorial uh 200 hd 7.3 so it's going to be so good editing like not listening to my drag or, 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 or trying to lock up a fish and just it's just crazy been waiting for so long for these so awesome it's even got the bigger handles and everything i'm absolutely stoked so I've got a couple. So we're going to troll lures today, uh, just like we did the other day. So hopefully we'll catch a fish and be able to enter in this uh, Pertec Challenge. WA category is Barramundi and Queenfish. Let's get them out there. Oi. Nearly birds now straight away. That was me in the flick. I haven't actually uh, adjusted everything properly yet. Geez, they just sound so smooth already. Oh. Now, caught up. Let's just get this other one out for a sec. That's better. Let's try that again. Yeah, 
heaps better. From leaving the boat ramp to get up to the back of Barry's, it takes you around about 45, 50 minutes, and that's doing about 25 knots. Um, so, like, all around trip from here, yeah, coming up the back here, spending a day and going back to the boat ramp, you're probably looking around about 40 nautical miles, so it's about 80 odd K. So I use around about the, anywhere from the 25 to 35 litres, or depending on what you're doing. Yeah, it's a bit of a, bit of a hike. You don't realise how far you kind of, you drive out towards it, and then you actually basically kind of wind back in towards Wyndham again. It's a crazy creek system, but it's produced some bloody big fish. She got my biggest barrow here, uh, 124. So, I'd love to be able to beat it. It was just a reasonable sized croc just sitting here. See a little swirl in the water, he's just gone there and there's another swirl there. Nice little croc just sitting up on the bank over here. He looks nice and clean. He's got his mouth open, soaking in the sun. Hey, here we go. Well, right. Small little fish. Listen to the reel. <laughs> I oh, know, little baby Freddy. Little Fred Finn Salmon. There we go, we're on. Under the bar. Oh, look at that sound of a new reel. Nice and smooth. Come on, baby. Hug in the bank. Day. Oh, on your new wheels. Yes! He's a, oh, look at that. He's a fat little bugger. Jeepers. <laughs> look at that. Nice and fat. We're not even going to put that one on the board. I'm just gonna go straight in. Yes, we're on again. Jeez. Oh, I'll be on. Yep. Oh, that's more fish. Oh, 
Here we go. Geez, I only just bloody threw that out. You hit that hard. Wait. Back in the gear. Okay. <laughs> oh, a little bit bigger. Here in size. Got the bogus. about a 70 centimeter barrow or we'll try out this per tech fishing mat and over it goes hey fish on leave it in here for a sec Let it be over 80 centimetres. Swim it upstream. I don't reckon it's 80 centimetres. Definitely not. <laughs> oh well, that's number five still. Let's get that back around the boat here. These are hitting hard for a bloody little fish. Okay, man. There we go. On, get bigger. I only have been, haven't been here too long, so I can't complain. This wind's kicking right up again. Jeepers. Beautiful looking fish. Oh, yeah. Too early in the morning for that. Okay, bro. That's good. You're off. We're on. I was just about to turn around. Jesus win. Oh, oh geez. That was a good fish too. It wasn't bad, would have been up in the 80s, what we're looking for. 
Ah. We're running that back, Eddie. All right. It's only a small one. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> oh, the jumps. <laughs> Wait. Come on. One good fish. That's all we want. This wind is just crazy. No, I haven't got the landing net ready. Oh, it's down the hatch. Sheepers. I don't really want to bogger it. Oh, got to get out of the habit. Let's see what it is first. Oh, it's only a small one hooked up by its belly. Oh. Kidding me. Ah, bugger. <clears throat> Doesn't feel hooked right again. What is going on? No, hook and belly again. I can see it from here. I'm just dragging it on the surface. What's wrong with these fish? We're on. Whatever it is, it's moving bloody fast towards us. Oh, it looks a bit bigger. Come on. Come on. Hard to say. Coming in with the current, flat out. Nah, I don't think so. Still a nice bar. Just not the one we're chasing today. We're in a fishing comp. This wind and current is just havoc. It's actually probably another 70. Yeah, yeah, no, he's under. 
under 70, we won't measure this one. Straight back into it. Yes, <laughs> probably about a 63. Port side ride. I'm sorry if I'm yelling, but it's just windy. I don't know with it, what's going to happen with this audio. Okay. Come on, let it be bigger than 70. For a windy day, ooh, it's bloody, it's been pretty good fishing. It must be close to bloody eight, nine, ten, ten barra. we go yes it's definitely bigger than the 70 let's go in oh, that's hard work wrong guys I can't even call how big these fish are anymore just because of the current and the wind Jeez, he's flying in towards me. What have we got? Just a small one. Oh, hooked on the belly again. I don't know what's wrong with them not using their mouths. Come on, mate. A line hook, yeah. Come on. There we go. There we go. Here we go. Looks like a reasonable fish. Just thought I'd give it a crack, buddy. Flicking a few lures, it was getting pretty quiet. Oh yeah, this is a... That was a great fish. Oh. Oh, a little small one here. Oh. After losing that big one, blow my now. This one will go straight off. I'm actually starting to see a couple of big fish. Yeah, as I say, I can't believe after a weekend. Well, being a sad day, I'm actually the only boat up here. And I'm up at Carries. Well known creek. Come on, get off. <laughs> hey, it's not the type of fish you want to catch in a fishing comp. 
and I can see the bigger ones around with it. Oh, nice. No, another one. <laughs> They're only probably just size, if that. Come on, mate. Let them go. Oh, yeah. Small one again. What is with these small buggers? <laughs> ah. oh, over here. There's a lot of bloody parachute pulling in these little buggers like this. Where am I now? Buggers are driving me crazy. Ah. Uh, uh, might have to measure that one. Woohoo! 21. Straight over. There on. Another small fish. Bye bye now. I'm gonna see if I can leave my other rod out there. Quick and pull this in. Another rat. That's it, I'm driving away from that spot. Okay, fish on. I came back because I thought, no, stick with it because that's why it's pushing in. Just in case those bigger fish come in, there is fish here, so don't chase fish to find fish. Yeah, I did see a bloody cock here. There you go. Where's that cock going? Stayed in the boat just for this crop. Oh. Ew. Oh, gosh. Come on. Cardinals in here, I haven't pulled the other rod in. Oh, nice. Love it when it does that. <laughs> what a day. That was a 12 hour day. I don't even know how many barrel we got. Um, yeah, buddy. It'd have to be 20, I suppose. I'd have to, buddy, count all that back on the. Um, when I'm doing the edit. So, but good day. Biggest of 71. Um, I lost a good fish. Hoping we got the uh, head shake up out of the water. I reckon it's, it was definitely a meter fish. I'm not too sure if I'm going to come back here or not. There was a few big fish I could see, but um, Jesus, a lot of small fish. That was ridiculous at one stage. Sunday, last day to catch a meter fish. Come on, we can do it. Pertec fishing challenge, day two. Just got up into the creek. Sun's coming up. So it's time to start fishing. We just want one meter fish to go into the scorecards. That's all. There's not much to ask for, is it? Bloody hell. <laughs> First cast. A lot of sticks in here today. Makes it a little bit harder. 
a lot of sticks. Here we go. It's a big thready. It's not what I was chasing. Oh, yeah. Sorry. I thought I was moving a bit funny. Ah. This way. Oh, wrong species. It's a good thready, too. Oh, hey. Jeepers, nice ready. Let's just go straight up. Oh, big thready. On the skinny one, like a greyhound. Oh, that would have been alright if it was a bow. Jeepers. There we go. Nice ready. 9.30. Woo! Pretty is the wrong category because I don't think there's a, a category for threadies for me. But that's alright. On the process. Yes! Finally got a barrel Monday, but I don't think it's going to be bigger oh, than yesterday. 71. Oh, come on. Come on, baby. Wait, get off there. Okay, straight in. We'll have to give it a quick measure, but geez, that's green. <laughs> that's comp fishing for you. Get him in and get him out. It's only a 65. There she goes. Come on! Wow! This is hard work. <laughs> I forgot to start filming. I was bloody in uh, <laughs> serious, mate. Uh, trying to get one before this bloody tide drops too far. Come on! It might be bigger than. It might be bigger than the uh, 71. Ah, come on, get out of there. I'm gonna have to net this one. Hey, get out of there. Oh, mate, come on. There we go. I think it's bigger than the 71. Oh, sorry, guys, camera. Yes! Oh well, it's bigger than the 71, I'm sure of it. Alright, 75, a little bit bigger. Oh. New contester. Alright, still don't like the chances. Hey, another little one. Beautiful little bass. Oh, a double hooker. Oh, jeepers. <laughs> Nearly a double hookup. <laughs> Lost that one. Still not going to be beat the bloody 75. Got 
Jeez, come on, mate. Come on. Oh, why are you playing so hard? Let's get you off and get another one. Oh. Oh. Jesus, a fat fish. Healthy bugger. That's Pertec done. <laughs> I quit. <laughs> um, biggest fish was only that 75. Got a couple other small ones, but that was it. That was pretty hard actually. Couldn't get a big one, but I had my chance yesterday. All right guys, if you watched this far, much appreciated. Thanks for liking, subscribing. Um, hit the thumbs up and drop us a comment. All right guys, I'll see you next week.